<laughs> All right, any other questions? I know that's a lot to give you. All right, well, you have your newsletter that will continue. You can stick, up, stick your newsletter on the fridge. That help, helps you remember what's coming up. All right, now we're going to move to uh, our, our review of Daniel. All right, so Verena is here this morning. Verena, welcome. Everyone say hello to Ms. Verena. All right. If you remember, Verena got baptized a couple weeks ago. So she's sitting with Warren and Christine. And we're doing half the room. Is this what we're doing? All right, so now you want to draw your attention to the screen. We're going right down the room. So we have this half of the room is team. These are the Buccaneers. You guys are the Buccaneers, and you guys are the Cowboys. Sorry. All right, the Bucks versus Cowboys. So they're going to preview of the first NFL game for the Buccaneers. This is Team Buccaneer, and this is Team Cowboy. All right? You guys ready? Hey, now I, I, we need to set some ground rules. Here are the ground yeah. rules. All right, here's your ground rules. Listen up. Well, hold on, because every time we play, it's different. So okay. All right. I want to make sure as a score person that I get it right. Okay. Are we taking points off for incorrect answers, yes or no? I mean, no. This isn't this isn't participation trophy jeopardy. Yeah, if they get the question wrong, they lose the points. Yes. All right, I'm good with that. Absolutely. I just want to make sure I'm fair with everybody. Absolutely. We've been we've been 13 weeks in this book. They're gonna you're gonna get them all right. We're gonna get them all right. But there will be no stealing of points. They either get it right or they don't. Let's what do, do you it mean that stealing? way. Like if they get it wrong, the other team's not gonna get the points. They can answer, but not they don't get the points. What? Is that all right? That's not Jeopardy. You want to do that where they get the points? If you get a correct answer, you get the points. All right. All right. That's it. All right. It behooves you to make sure you get the question right, okay? <laughs> now, every answer must be in the form of a question. All right? So don't blow that. We'll take points off. All right. Let's get started. We're going to start with um, Team uh, Buccaneers. Buccaneers are going to start. Uh, we'll start here with Barbara. If you can't see the screen, you have the paper in front of you. All right? So what category would you like in the dollar amount, please? What line? Okay, let's go with uh, what is this? Channel yep. one. Okay, uh -huh. one. Five. He's taking. She's taking prisoner, which is from Daniel chapter one. If you look at the top, this is an open book Jeopardy. Prisoner. Oh, if you don't have a scoreboard, you got to get with someone who does. Slide over to this table. Prisoner for five hundred. All right. The answer is Judas King. In 605 B.C., this is from Daniel chapter 1, just saying. All right, so what your, your chapter numbers are at the top of each header, and this is an open book Jeopardy. Judah's king. Who was the king in Daniel chapter 1 for Judah? All right, make sure you get it right. All right, we have an answer. That's 500 points. You want to get it? You want to guess or not? It's 500. You go, you'll either get it up big or you're going to go back big. Go big or go home, Sandy. What do you think? You want to make a guess? Well, She's going to make a guess, right? Who is Artaxerxes? Who was Artaxerxes? That is incorrect because we're looking at Judah's king. Right, we're going to come over here. Hold on. I saw uh, one of your teammates' hands behind me. Who is Jehoiakim? Who was Jehoiakim? That is correct. I, I, it would behoove you to have the Bible open for some of these. All right, let's go to question number two. We're going back to this team. Hey, you. Category in dollar amount. What? What is it now? Well, you got to pick a category. Oh, dear. So you have prisoner, the crazy arborist, dreamy, statuesque, goldfinger, or hello, my name is. Dreamy? How much? What dream is? How much? One to five hundred. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, let's go for two. Dreamy for 200. The answer is to tell the meaning of a dream. To tell the meaning of a dream. To tell, this is the answer, to tell the meaning of a dream. All right, hold on, we have, what do you, you, you guys want to talk to each other before you answer it? She says, is it to interpret? She did answer in the form of a question, although that's not really how you're supposed to answer in Jeopardy. If you ask Alex Trebek, not sure, is it to interpret, Alex? You need to be confident in your answer, but that is correct. And you guys are blowing away. So right now we have, uh, you just have Penguin and Shark. I guess we couldn't rename them. Who are the Penguins? They're the Cowboys. Cowboys are winning. Who wants to be Tom Brady for this team? Someone needs to come back and be Tom Brady. All right, Barbara. Category, yeah, that's for the second time. We have, that's for second Jeopardy. We're still in this category here. All right. Which would you like? 
Oh, I like that one. <laughs> oh, let's see. How about the crazy arborist? Lord have mercy. Uh, 200. All right, the crazy arborist for 200. The only part of the tree, this is from Daniel chapter 4, the only part of the tree to survive. We have an answer. Hold on. Do you want to compare quickly? I don't mind. All right. What part of the tree was left would be the roots in the trunk? All right. So she says the roots in the trunk. We'll accept that. The answer was the stump or the roots. That is correct. Very good. All right. Back over to you guys. So a category and a dollar amount. I'm sorry. Well, I didn't hear what. A category and a dollar amount. 20. All right. So she's going to pick 20. Let's just pick one for her. Let's pick 200 for her. Let's do a prisoner for 200. All right, the answer is the Royal Training Program in Daniel chapter 1. The Royal Training Program ran this number of years. The Royal Training Program. Of course, it would be Daniel enrolled as a young student, as a young teenager. How long was he enrolled in the training program? Anybody? We have one answer over here. All right. We're coming. Was it three years? Well, again, you're asking me the question. You're supposed to give me the question. Oh, that was your answering? Was it three years? What was three? Yes, I will accept that. Confusing answer for me. Yes, so what was three years is correct. Great job. Three years in that training program. All right, Lois. The statute, chapter two. What number? 200. Statuesque for 200. The medal of the chest and arms, the metal of the chest and arms of the statue. What metal? Hold on. Silver. What is silver? What is silver is correct. We will accept that. Yes, what is silver? You recall from the statue that Nebuchadnezzar had his dream? What was silver? Yes, ma'am. You have a question? Uh, what is bronze? No, no, the, silver is correct. She got it correct. But you're answering another question ahead of time. That's because you're at Charlie's table. <laughs> Charlie influences everybody. They just jump ahead. I don't know. I haven't even oh, seen right. it. Um, I'll do the uh, gold finger for 300. Gold finger for 300. Gold finger for 300. The answer is Nebuchadnezzar heated the furnace this many times hotter than usual in his anger. He heated the furnace this many times hotter. This is from Daniel chapter 3. We have an answer in the back. What is 7? And that is correct. What is 7 times normal? 7 times hotter than normal. Very good. All right. We've got a lot, of, a lot of great answers here. All right. We started off with a, a, a bust, but it's been a boom ever since. Dreamer. Four. 300. Dreamy for 300. The answer is Nebuchadnezzar's normal dream guys. Nebuchadnezzar's normal dream guys. And I'll take any number of like, there's like four different categories here. I'll take any of them. His normal dream guys. What'd they call them? Anybody have an answer? Yep. Yeah, okay. Who were the astronomers? Okay, I'll accept that. It's actually astrologers, but I'll accept it. Uh, the magicians, the enchanters, the sorcerers, and astrologers. If you read in the Bible, you'll see there's a list of them each time. Uh, astronomers is actually incorrect, but I love the answer, so I'm going to give you the credit. All right, Joanne. Category and dollar amount. Hello, my name is... Well, let's go down for the 500. All right. Shoot for the moon here. Hello, my name is, for five, Nebuchadnezzar's chief of staff. Nebuchadnezzar's chief of staff. There's a reason this is a 500-point question. You do not have to spell it correctly. You do not have to spell it correctly. Nebuchadnezzar's chief of staff, you have three seconds. All right, so no answer from this group. Hold on, let's see if this group can pick up some points. You, you desperately need them. All right, let's see if you were able to find it. Who is Ashpenaz? That is correct. Who is Ashpenaz? So the open book question helps the Buccaneers to come back big time. That's called a Brady comeback right there. All right, Barbara, you already did one, right? Charles, come to you. 
Oh boy. Um, I can't read the. We have Prisoner, the Crazy Arborist, Dreamy, Statuesque, Goldfinger, or Hello, My Name Is. Finger for for 100. Goldfinger for 100. The answer is where the statue was built in Daniel chapter 3. Where the statue was built. That's a 100 point question because it is, the answer is in verse 1. <laughs> All right, you guys have a chance. If not, I already have a. Okay, hold on. We have an answer in the back. Hey, you already got it. Let's. Yeah. The Plain of Dora. Where is the Plain? This isn't Dora the Explorer. You just tell us. Yes. Dora the Explorer knows where it is. The Plain of Dora. We'll accept Dora as an English pronunciation. All right. Very good. All right. Hazel. Okay. Uh, did we do Prisoner for 500? That one has been taken. You want to do 400? All right. Um, hello, my name is for 500. That's also been taken. I can do 400. All right. 400. All right. Hello, my name is for 400. The answer is Abednego's Hebrew name. Abednego's Hebrew name. Open book here. This is from the book of Daniel. I don't remember what chapter. I think it's two, one or two. Abednego's Hebrew name. All right. The Cowboys are stumped on this one. All right, we have three seconds. All right. You have a guess? All right, hold on. Who is Azariah? Who is Azariah? That is correct. Good job. Kept the lead. Kept the lead. I thought this team was going to have a chance to steal. But the Buccaneers are still playing from behind. All right, Andrew. Let's do... What's that? Dream? Dreamy for 400. Dreamy for 400. The answer is the king's penalty sentence from chapter 2. What is the king's penalty sentence? You don't do this. This will happen to you from Daniel chapter 2. You have an answer? Oh, he goes in the furnace, the fiery furnace. What is the fiery furnace? Will we accept that? What happens if you go to the fiery furnace? You die. What is death? That's correct. The actual penalty sentence was death. The method by which... You were describing the method by which we'll accept it. We'll accept it. All right, so where are Charlie? Uh, number 500, 500 and I can't read the, That's all right. Goldfinger for five. I see what you're pointing at with your gold finger. The gold statue from Daniel chapter 3 was this tall. The gold statue was this tall. Right, we have an answer already. Yeah, 90 feet. Um, no, yeah, 90 feet and 9 wide. All right, what is 90 feet? Will we accept that? Yes, we will. 90 feet, we also have accepted 60 cubits, which I didn't expect anyone to guess. But, yes, correct. Good job. All right, Brian. Statuesque for 500. Statuesque for five. The answer is, oh, a daily double. All right, so hold on. You have the opportunity to bet. Oh, all right, so it's all, it doubles the bet for them. It doubles the bet for them. Oh, okay, so it's doubling your money. This gives you a chance to get back in the game big time. The Dreams Supernatural Igneous. The Dreams Supernatural Igneous. It's 500 points and a double. It's 1,000 points. What's the Dreams Supernatural Igneous? <laughs> you can you can Google Ignis if you need to, but you only have three seconds. All right. Any idea what it might be? Yes. Hold on. We have the answer back here. Just say what what is. Um, I just was saying meaning. What is Jess? what you said. What is meaning? Yeah, no. Someone said it back here. Rock. Yes. What is the rock that comes and becomes a mountain? That is correct. Good job. The rock not cut by human hand. Ignis, of course, is a type of rock. All right, very good. Now what's the score? That might have tied the game, huh? Oh, we're up to a 100-point game. Good job. You didn't even know you knew the answer, but you did. All right, Christine. Good. Here we go. Um, the crazy, the 
for five hundred. The crazy arborist for five. The answer is Nebuchadnezzar recognizes that God punished him for this sin. What was Nebuchadnezzar's sin that God punished him for? We have an answer. Um, he, I guess I have to have it as a question. Anyway, um, he went back to, did he go back to worshiping idols? Okay, so idolatry. Idolatry is her answer. Is that correct? Okay, that's incorrect. This team has a chance to steal. Do you have an idea? Are you sure? All right. What is pride? What is pride? Pride is correct. Nebuchadnezzar's ultimate sin was a sin of pride. All right, so we are here, Sandy. Category and dollar amount. We The, the Cowboys needed a daily double. Oh. We have Prisoner, the Crazy Arborist, Dreamy, Statuesque, Goldfinger, or Hello, My Name Is. We do Dreamy, Dreamy for 500? This one's left. All right. Dreamy for five. The answer is the commander of the king's guard. The commander of the king's guard. Not his chief of staff, but the commander of his guard. You know this one? This is a tough one. Who is Ariok? A R I O C. Yeah, that's correct, actually. Good job. Who was Ariok? Yes, that is correct. So the only way you would possibly know that is if you had prepared in advance. That's impressive. Good job. So that's from, uh, remember we had his chief of staff, and now this is, this is the guy who runs his royal guard. Remember the royal guard shows up to kill Daniel, right? And Daniel's like, what in the world? What do I do? Why am I getting killed? Can I, can I talk to the king first? And he's like, yeah, okay. All right, All right sheet. Dream me for 500. Dream me for five has been taken. Uh, in fact, there's only 100 left in that category. Okay, then. Hold that. Crazy Arborist for 400. All right, the Crazy Arborist for four. This was Nebuchadnezzar's punishment. Daniel chapter four. Nebuchadnezzar's punishment from God. Hold well, on, we have an answer here. He, he became like an animal eating grass and that. That is correct. What is insanity? Yes, he was given the mind of an animal. So God made him go insane. That is correct. Remember his hair grew and his nails grew and he was like an animal. Yeah. Today, I don't even know what they would do with that today. I'm sure there's a name for that. Goldfinger 400. Goldfinger for how many? 400. Goldfinger for 400. The answer is the penalty for not worshiping the statue. The penalty for not worshiping the statue. This is from chapter 3. Yeah. What is death? What is death is correct. Do we need to be more specific? Or we don't need to. We'll accept it. Yeah. So from chapter 3, it was death and uh, death by fiery furnace. So this actually answer was, was in here twice. Verena, do you want to pick a category or do we skip you? All right. Uh, prisoner for 200. All right. Prisoner for 200? Prisoner for 200. The answer is... Oh, all right. Let's do... We're at one or three? Three hundred. All right. Two staples of the Daniel diet. Two staples of the Daniel diet. All right. You got it, Charlie? Water and vegetable. Yes, water and vegetable vitamins. That is correct. That is correct. Vegetables and water. Excellent. You guys are moving through these quickly. This Jeopardy is going much quicker than Galatians Jeopardy. <laughs> that one was too hard. Boy, true. Uh, the uh, 400. Um, hello, my name is... That one's taken. We, the only 400s left are Prisoner and Statuesque. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, we'll do the Statuesque. Statuesque for 400. The answer is the metal. This is the statue that Nebuchadnezzar saw in his dream. The metal of the feet. The metal of the feet. This probably should say... No, I guess no. The metal, yes. What is iron and clay? What is iron? Yes. Uh, clay is not a metal. But uh, iron certainly is. Iron and clay are the feet of, of Nebuchadnezzar's statue. That is correct. All right, Ron, you're up. Another category here in a dollar amount. How about, uh, oh, you just tell me the dollar amount and I'll tell you what category. We'll do a 400, 300, 200, $100 question. 400. 
All right, so there's only one category left. That is prisoner. Babylon's king in 605 B.C. And don't hurt yourself on this one. This one is not as difficult as Judah's king. All right, the name of the king of Babylon. Everyone should get it. Don, who's king of Babylon in 605 B.C.? Who is Nebuchadnezzar? Who is Nebuchadnezzar? That is correct. Nebuchadnezzar. I'll have to think hard about that one. All right. 400. You guys needed that one badly. All right. We're coming back over here. Good job. The Cowboys are trying to stay ahead. They're trying to. All we have left is 300 and less. Um, chapter 2, whatever that is. All right. Chapter 2 is the is dreamy. Oh, 300. Did you want to do the crazy arborist? Or do you want to do statuesque? The statue or the dream? All right, statue S for 300. The answer is the metal of the belly and thighs. The metal of the belly and thighs. You guys remember the statue? Remember the different uh, metals going down? You have an answer? What is brass? What is brass? That is correct. We would also have accepted uh, bronze. Bronze or brass, both of them are, are correct. All right, very good. Let's go to Don. Category and dollar amount. Can't see the category. All right, what about the dollar amount? 300. All right, let's do the crazy arborist for three. The answer is the time period of Nebuchadnezzar's punishment. How long? We've already learned that he was insane. How long was he insane for? He was insane for seven years. All right, is that your answer? Yes. The answer is, was he insane for seven I can't answer the question, but it is in the form of a question. Yes, it is correct. Yes. Yes, correct. Great job. You guys are doing really well. All right, category and dollar amount. 300. All right, 300, but there's only one left. That would be Meshach's Hebrew name. Meshach's Hebrew name. All right, so this is, I know, it's either chapter one or two, I can't remember. But we already did Abednego, right? So this is Meshach. Meshach's Hebrew name. What was his name before he got to Babylon? You got three seconds? All right, hold on. We have an answer. The Cowboys were getting ready to steal, but the Buccaneers have an answer. Let's see what it is. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but what is Michel? That is correct. What was Michel? That is correct. Very good. She must have had it. And you can certainly open the Bible and get these answers. All right, correct. All right, we're down to six questions left in this round. Dwayne? Uh, $100. All right, we're going to do prisoner for 100 The answer? Daniel grew up here. Where did Daniel grow up? Anybody? This would be before he got to Babylon. Daniel grew up here. This is not a trick question. It's only 100 point questions. You, you should be, if you, just whatever comes to your head is going to be probably right. What is Israel? What is Israel? We'll accept that. All right, we'll accept that. It is Israel, the actual city was Jerusalem. We, we would have taken either one. Israel, uh, Jerusalem is in, is, is in Israel. All right, five left. Uh. What's the second one up there? All right, arborist for 100. Your answer is the dream in the tree in the dream was this person. All right, remember she, he, has the, he has a dream of a tree, and the tree in the interpretation is this person. So let's see what the person's name is. Who is King Nebuchadnezzar? That is correct. The tree was King Nebuchadnezzar. That is correct. All right, we're coming back here. Rachel, did I ever get to you? I don't remember. Did I? Rachel, your turn. Category. Or just tell me what dollar amount. You want 100 or 200? 200. 200. Let's go to Goldfinger for 200. These were played during the statue worship service. And I'll accept really either a specific answer or a very general answer. All right. During the worship service for the statue, what was played? You have an answer? The symbols. And the uh, ho the horns. It's yeah, I'll accept that. Yeah, uh, what are instruments? Horns, cymbals, flutes, right. They, they had a full orchestra. This is like what we're going to go see in the park, the Ford Orchestra in the park. But we won't be bowing down to a, you know, a statue. All right. Barbara, we just did you, right? I did you first? Yeah, Barbara Cherry now. Okay. What's the thing? I can't read it. 100 or 200. Uh, give me a hundred, maybe. One hundred. All right. The, let's go to Dreamy. Dreamy for a hundred. A scary dream. A 
What is a nightmare? Yeah, just like what he's thinking today's class is. That is correct. What is a nightmare? All right, let's go. <laughs> this group. <laughs> All right, Kim. What's left? One or two hundred. One hundred. All right, statuesque for one hundred. The answer is this part of the statue was gold. Correct. What is head? That is correct. We'll accept that. Good job. All right. Lois, you want 100 or 200? There's only two left. 200? The answer is Shadrach's Hebrew name. All right, so if you have that chapter over, just keep your finger there. We got the other two guys. We were certain to come to this guy. Three seconds. I have no answer from the Buccaneers. The Cowboys have a chance to steal, and they need it. What is correct? What is Hananiah is correct. Making a comeback. Good job, Cowboys. The Cowboys also get a chance for the last one. Jen, don't even have to guess. Daniel's Babylonian name. Switching it up on you. Daniel's Babylonian name. If you're in that same chapter, you're going to get it. Yes. All right. So she's got it. What is Belteshazzar? Is correct. All right. So we end this first round with uh, who's in the lead? I can't remember who's who's. I know the Buccaneers are winning, right? So they must be the Sharks. All right. So the Buccaneers or the Sharks are winning, and the Penguins are not far behind. Yeah, the Cowboys. Yeah. Well, for some reason, we couldn't make the thing look like a cowboy or whatever. So, so. Whatever. Oh, no, we have Second Jeopardy. All right, now we've got to move through Second Jeopardy pretty quickly, all right? So you guys need to be ready. Don't, don't be wondering what it is because we only have 10 minutes and we got like an entire board to do. So be ready to go. If you're not ready, I'm going to pick a category for you. All right, we start with who's in the head or who's in the behind? You go with who's behind. All right, Jen, pick a category. This is from Daniel Chapter 2. Your sheet will say Daniel 2. This is the second board. All right, Daniel 2. Uh, what? Oh, I don't understand that. Well, you pick any of them and what number you want. Oh. So the categories are green-eyed lions, knocking heads, beastly, final vision, the last banquet, or prayer. Prayer. Five. Prayer for five. The answer is, oh, it's the values are doubled, by the way, in this, in this game. All right, the numerical title of the vision of Daniel chapter 9. So for the last three weeks, we've talked about this vision. And the vision's title has a number in it. All right. So what is the numerical title of the vision of Daniel chapter 9? All right. We talked about Daniel's. Yes, Warren. Yeah, you got it. Hold on. He's saying it out loud. Do you want him to say it or do you want to say it? Seven times 70. All right, I'll, I'll accept that. It's Daniel's 70 weeks. He got 70 in there. We'll take it. Remember the 70 weeks of Daniel. All right, Daniel's 70 weeks. Yeah, why would I ever do that? It's clearly, there's something wrong here. All right, uh, Barbara, back to you. Category and dollar amount. She's going to take a uh, prayer for eight. The answer is, this angel gives and interprets a vision for Daniel. The name of the angel in Daniel chapter 9. Okay. Who is Gabriel? Who is Gabriel is correct. Great job. All right. Very good. All right. Category and dollar amount. Is that me? Yes. <laughs> okay. We're going to do um, Knocking Heads, Chapter 8. Four? For 500. That's 1,000. So Knocking Heads for 1,000. The answer is the goat in the vision represented this global world kingdom. All right, you have a 50% chance here. There was two animals in the, in the vision, the ram and the goat. Who did the goat represent? And we have an answer. Greece. What was Greece? That is correct. Good job. You have pulled ahead. All right. Cowboys are pulling ahead. All right, Andrew. Category and dollar amount. Let's do knocking heads for 300. Knocking heads for 600 because we're going to double the total. All right, the answer is the super fast second animal in this vision. Who was the super fast animal in the vision? He runs at the other animal and knocks it out. All right. Who was the goat? Who was the goat? That is correct, right? That's, of course, because Tom Brady is the goat and you guys are the Buccaneers. You should get that question correct. Good job. Very good. That was easily unplanned to have the answer be goat and have that team get that question. All right. Category and dollar amount. Or do you want me to pick one for you? Yeah, pick one. All right, let's just go to the one that's blank there. Let's go to knocking heads for four, uh, which would be eight. 
The answer, the small horn of the goat represents what future world leader? The small horn of the goat represents what future world leader? Not looking for a name here. We're looking for a title. Yeah. Rachel? Yes? No? Peg? You got it? Yes. Who is the Antichrist? Is correct. The Antichrist is correct. Very good. Good job. All right. Category dollar amount? Uh, thousand. The uh, first one. All right. The first one is green eyed lions for a thousand. The answer. These people were eventually thrown into the lion's den after Daniel. These people were eventually thrown into the lion's den after Daniel. Who are the enchanters, astronomers? Yes, yes. Or the guys who accuse him. Yes, we will accept. His accusers, very sadly, their wives and their children, very sadly. Um, very sadly. All right, Don, category and dollar amount? Or if you're not sure, just pick a dollar amount, and I'll pick the category. All right, 1,000, so let's go with beastly for 1,000. Beastly for 1,000. The answer is... The number of horns on the fourth beast. This is an easy question. Why is this a thousand point question? <laughs> the number of horns on that third beast. Or the last beast. Sorry, the fourth beast. Yeah. Charlie. Ten was the number of... He's correct. Good job. One or ten. Maintaining a healthy lead here. 300 point lead. This is a close game. Close game. All right, Charles. Um. You're not sure the category. You picked the dollar amount. A thousand. All right, a thousand. Let's do the final vision for a thousand. The Seleucid ruler who is a prototype of the Antichrist. We talked about this guy for two weeks. The Seleucid ruler who is the prototype, who was and uh, the prototype of the Antichrist. He's got kind of a difficult name. That's okay. If you get, make your best guess and we'll, okay. I think it's something like Antichrist the fourth. Epiphanies. That is correct. Antiochus Epiphanies. We will accept that. And you said that very well. Great job. You earned that one. You earned that one. Boy, this is a close game. All right, Dwayne, category and dollar amount. If you can't see the category, just tell me the dollar amount. All right, so last thousand voice question. The writing on the wall. What was the actual writing, the four words on the wall? All right, hold on, we got it. Mine, mine, mine. Or something like that. Well, I'm looking for all four words. Can someone help her from this team? She got the first two, but I'm not going to accept the first two. That's why it's a thousand point question. All right. And it's not Ine, Mine, Mine, Mo either. So don't pull that on me. That will be an automatic X. All right. All right. Anybody else? Yes. No, this is the other team. We don't want them to guess it. All right. Anybody else? The four words that were on the wall? Yes. Okay. All right. Kip's got it. All right. Many, many take a, a person? Yes. Easy for you to say. Yes. Many, many take a person. Very good. All right. Now we are back here to mark category and dollar amount. I'll just pick a dollar amount. All the thousands are taken. Uh, 600. All right. Let's do a prayer for 600. The answer is the curses and judgments from this were poured out on the people of Israel because of their sin. I don't remember the answer to this question. I don't recall the answer to this. But the curses and judgments from this, oh, I know, I know what it is, were poured out on the people of Israel because of their sin. That's this team. Any idea? If you're not sure, just don't answer. Hey, come on, Rick. Anybody from here want to try to steal this one? Let's just see the answer. The answer is... What is the law of Moses, remember? So what happened was God had exactly predicted this in the book of Deuteronomy. Exactly what would happen is what happens during the book of Daniel. All right. Where were we over here? Uh, we did you guys. We're back here to you guys. Okay, Faye, dollar amount or category? Um, pick out a category. We'll do, the, we'll do 800 from uh, the Green-Eyed Lions. Green-Eyed Lions for 800 for this team. Daniel prayed each day. This many times. Just say it out loud. Yeah, what is three? Very good. Good job, guys. He was prayed three times a day. All right. Sandy, category and dollar amount? Or just pick a dollar amount and I'll pick the category for you. 300, which would be 600. Let's do green eyed monsters, green eyed lions for 600. The answer the new law's time frame for worshiping only the king. Only the king. 30 days. 
30 days. What is 30 days? Half September, April, May, and November, and Nebuchadnezzar's order on how long you had to worship the king. Very good. Excellent job. All right, the scores? Very close. All right. Category. I'd like to try uh, this. 500. All right. Those are all taken, but you pick the category and I'll pick the dollar for you. Pardon? Which category would you like? And seven. All right. She wants beastly from chapter seven. She'll take 800 more questions for beastly. The third beast was this cat with four wings and four heads. All right. From the, from the dream, from the vision. What cat? Three seconds. This team has a chance to steal. It was not. The answer is not Garfield. <laughs> what is a leopard? What is a leopard is correct. This team steals. All right. And we are back here. Category and dollar amount. Or dollar amount. And we'll pick the category. Final vision. 400. All right. The final vision for it would be 800. The final vision for a time times and half a time. A time, times, and half a time. What's three and a half? Yes. What are three and a half years? Very good. Excellent. Okay. Remember, that's in the vision multiple times. All right. And we are back to the teacher. We're moving quickly here. Good job. You've got 800. All right. She's taking 800. The only category left for that is the last banquet. 800 for the last banquet. This woman came to the banquet hall with advice. All right, Belteshazzar was all concerned, and this woman came to help him. All right, what is? Who is his mother? All right, I will accept that. The Bible says that is it is the queen mother that could have been his mother, could have been his grandmother. We're not sure. But the answer is the queen mother, and we will accept that answer. All right, Treva, category and dollar amount. One of the 800. All right, uh, those are all taken. We have three categories left with 600. Would you like one of those? Beastly for 600. The second lopsided beast had these in its mouth. What is it called? What's it called? What's in its mouth? What's in the mouth? Yes. What are ribs? Yes, correct. Three ribs. That is correct. Both of you had, had the answer correct. Good job. All right. Joanne. You want one of the six? There's two six others left. You want one of those? You want one of those 600 ones? Oh, that's okay. We'll pick it for you. Final vision for six. The archangel of the Hebrew people. The archangel of the Hebrew people. Who is Michael? Absolutely. Michael is the archangel. Good job. You guys are really rocking this Daniel Jeopardy. I'm proud of you. All right. Our scores are super close. All right. Jane's picking 600 from the last banquet. These appendages wrote on the banquet wall hall. What are fingers? That is correct. What are fingers of a human hand? Very good. All right. Hazel. We, are, we all we have left is 200 and 400. There is one daily devil less that will probably win the game, whoever hits it. 400 for green-eyed lions. The king divided the kingdom into this many provinces from Daniel chapter 6. The king divided the kingdom into this many provinces. Hold on. What is 12? Is the answer from Warren? Is that incorrect? Okay, all right. Do you guys want to steal? I thought that was correct, Warren. I knew Joanne's answer was wrong, so I... What's the answer? Oh, it might be. No, it's right out of the Bible. What's the Bible say? Is there 120? Yeah, no, okay, all right. You were close. You just didn't, you forgot. You, you divided by 10. And we multiply times 10. All right, uh, Jane, we're up to you. Knocking heads for four for Jane. The first animal, the vision with two long horns. We're back to the vision of chapter 8. The first animal in the vision with two long horns. This was Chris Anderson teaching this lesson. He would be disappointed if you don't get it. Three seconds. All right, you, this team has a chance to steal. The first animal in the vision with two long horns. Too late. I'm giving you a chance, <clears throat> Cowboys. The first animal of the vision in Chapter 8. What was that? The ram and the goat? 
Yeah, I'll accept that. Yes, so they were both correct answers. Very good. The answer was Ram. That's great. Good job. Coming up close now. All right. All right. All right, beastly for four. The answer is the first beast was a lion with this bird's wings. The first beast was a lion with this bird's wings. What is an eagle? That is correct. Great job. All right. Charlie, what did we just do you? I can't remember now. We did Hazel. No, it's Hazel. All right, so she's going to take final vision for 400. Daniel was at this river during the vision. Daniel was at this river. What is the Tigris River? That is correct. Good job. All right. Buccaneers are ahead by 900 points. That's it. A thin, razor thin margin. Barbara, category and dollar amount. The first one, she's picking green eyed lions for two. The answer is the new king in Babylon. Now, this is important to what question we're in. This would be from chapter six. The new king, the new king in Babylon, chapter six. The new king in Babylon. Who is Darius? That is correct. From Daniel chapter 6. We'd moved on and Nebuchadnezzar had, had died by this point. Darius the Mede is correct. Charlie, now where do you? Uh, four for the end. All right, four for the end. Prayer. Chair, uh, prayer for four. Daniel wore this while fasting and praying. What was he wearing while fasting and praying? Sackcloth and ashes is correct. What is sackcloth and ashes? Absolutely correct. And we are down to a 100-point differential in this game. 100 points separates the winners from the losers. Barbara? Last one for 400. The king used gold cups from this building. This could be the winner right here. What temple? What is a temple in Jerusalem is correct. I think that's going to win the game for you. Unless, unless this team loses, I think you're going to win it. I don't think there's any way for you guys to come back. Christine? Oh, the final Jeopardy. Yes, that's true. All right, let's just do them quickly. Knocking heads for two. The answer, Daniel was at this city in the vision. He was at this city. If you remember the map, we had three cities circled. This would be that final city. Yes, I'll accept that. Yes, correct. Susa. I have no idea what she said, but she needs the points. All right, very good. Susa is correct. All right, this team, you ready? We're going to do Beastly for 200. Oh, no, the daily double. So you have, you have double the points, so it's worth 400. The number of beasts in this vision. The number of beasts. Don't get it wrong. You have three seconds. I can't wait a full minute. That's 60 seconds. We're already five minutes over. One says four, one says six. You want to go in the middle and say five? What is four? That is correct. Four is the correct answer. All right. All right, Warren. We're going to you. Final vision for two. The king of Persia at the time of this final vision. Who is the king of of the last vision. Well, that's correct. King Cyrus is correct. All right, back here to the Buccaneers. Let's do the last banquet for two. The king who gave the feast. Who was the Babylonian king who gave the feast in this chapter? Who is Belteshazzar? That is correct. Belteshazzar. Belteshazzar. Belteshazzar was Daniel's uh, uh, Hebrew name. All right, so, or Egyptian, or Babylonian name. All right, so last one for you guys. Daniel was reading from what Hebrew prophet? Who was Jeremiah? That is correct. All right, so our scores, all right, before our final wager, the Cowboys have 12,300. The Buccaneers have 12,800. All right, now you guys have to decide of your money, how much do you want to bet on final jeopardy? All right, so you guys get together, make your decision. You have 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Do you want to bet it all, or how much do you want to bet? All right, you guys talk amongst yourselves. All right. Right? Is that how it works? Do you know how it works for the, the counting? Okay. What is, your, what is your team's decision? Bet it all? Bet it all. They're going to bet it all or go home. All right? How about you guys? Bet it all. They're betting it all or going home. Well, we're all going home. So just see who goes home. With the most, absolutely, money that you can't take home with you. This is completely a fake and there's no money. The prize is the game. All right, so let's see. The question for Final Jeopardy, do not answer it out loud. All right? I'm, you must write the answer on a piece of paper in the form of a question. Each team has 30 seconds to write the answer. So somebody writes the answer down. Double check it with your team and see if everybody agrees. 
All right, and then we will come to a conclusion. All right, so write your answer down on a piece of paper, and then we will see who got it correct. I, I trust that you can be problem solvers. Any one of us can answer? Yes. You just talk amongst yourselves before we give you before you give your final answer. The answer. Take the paper to each table, so make sure each table agrees. All right. So take your paper to each table. Once we have agreement, we will take your answer and then we will show you the answer that's on the screen. All right, Daniel will work in this kingdom after his resurrection. All right, okay. So the Buccaneers have an answer. Do the Cowboys have an answer that is agreed upon? You guys agree? Everybody agree? I'll take your answer in writing. All right. All right, do we have an answer? I don't know. I need an answer. All right, I just need your answer. You can't ask me any questions. I just need your answer in writing. I'll take I'll take the answer. Uh, what in the world? Make sure whoever writes it has legible handwriting. I have an idea what this says, but uh, they've written it in in Babylonian, so I can't. I have to interpret it. Where's Daniel? It's so much to interpret. You got three seconds. Three seconds. You got it. All right, I'm coming back. All right, let's see. Okay. All right. So so we have the scores up. There are 500-point differential, right? The Buccaneers are by 500 points. Everybody has bet it all. <laughs> so, so the Cowboys have the correct answer, but they, they can't spell. So what they wrote was... What is the and it, what appears to be what is the urinal? And I don't think that's what it's supposed to say. But it looks like what is the urinal, and which which probably means Ron wrote it because Ron's a plumber, right? But Ron, we're not looking for a plumbing answer. The verbally what was said to me when they handed me this paper is what is the millennial kingdom? That was said to me, but what is written says what is the I don't know. But I'm gonna accept it. I'm gonna accept it. What is the millennial kingdom is correct. And so we will award you all your points. All right. And now let's go to the Buccaneers. Now the Buccaneers wrote out a, a brief paragraph here um, of description of the kingdom, everything that's going to be in the kingdom. What they wrote was, what is God's kingdom in the New Jerusalem? Which is correct, but they didn't identify the name of the kingdom. I mean, but I'm going to accept it because I accepted urinal. All right, so I'll accept it. It is a description of the Millennial Kingdom, though it does not identify the Millennial Kingdom, which means everybody wins. But ultimately, the Buccaneers win because we want the Buccaneers to win. So good. Buccaneers win. Good job, you guys. You guys did very good. Thank you for playing. I hope that you have heard. We'll have books, workbooks for sale in the back for $10. Help yourself to more yummy food. Prayer requests uh, should be written down on our sheets in the back. And we will see you guys next week. And before we go, we're going to all sing happy birthday together. Today is Dylan's birthday. So can we sing together? Happy birthday.